shake that body. Get, get, get down. Hello, welcome back to ADSR Pro with me, Mike Smith. We're going to continue on now with our look at some of the UAD plugins. I'm going to look today at the Solid State Logic SSL E Series channel strip. This is based on the SSL 4000 world renowned mixing console. If you're familiar with that, then I'm sure you'll understand a lot more about this. So, I'm no aficionado on old analog gear that costs a fortune. All I'm aware of, obviously, is the um, plug-in versions like this. So I, I can't really compare it to the real deal. However, we can at least make some comparisons with regards to whether it's having a positive effect on the sound. So we've got numerous different sections, as you can see. First of all, we've got the filter section here. So we've got a low cut and a high cut filter. We've also got a dynamic section, so we've got a compressor, uh, expander and gate. And here we've got our four band EQ. The middle section, the high mids and the low mids are fully parametric, whereas the high frequency and low frequency um, just are a shelving or a bell. So we can also determine whether this section goes before our dynamic section or after by using the pre-dynamics button. We'll get a little bit more into that when we start listening to it. So again, I'm going to use the same drum loop as I've used previously. Um, so there's our drum loop. So let's get straight in and we'll have a look at the filters. So you can hear there, low cut, up to 350 hertz. I believe on the brown section that this is a 12 dB slope. Let's, let's put that about there. And now high frequency. You can hear there it's rolled off all the top end. When it's right round to the left there, it's actually out, so it's not actually doing anything at all. So, compressor. So dynamics are in. That means this section is on and usable. And let's turn our compressor on. Let's put a two to one ratio. And there we go, we've just got a little bit of compression happening. And just our release. And you've also got fast attack here, so if you press that, you get a fast attack. We'll leave it on slow because we're uh, using it on our master. So we just want to gently compress. So that's doing that. Let's put uh, some expander on as well. So using the select button, we can put it to expander. Turn our threshold up so we get something happening. Okay, it helps if you turn it on. Something like that will do. And now let's jump into our EQ section. So, so again, let's turn our EQ on. So our EQ is now in, and let's boost. Can you hear that? That's at eight kilohertz, and it ranges from 1.5 kilohertz right up to 16 kilohertz. So let's do, let's come down to about 10. Okay, that'll do. Again, for our high mids, uh, we'll maybe put a little boost on. In fact, let's go to extreme so you can hear it. And we're at three kilohertz there. And you can hear now we can make a really narrow band or a wide band. Let's wind that back in.
Okay. Same again with our low mids. Let's go to extremes on this. I'm going to put a narrow band. And you can hear there that boxy section. What I'm going to do, I'm going to wind a bit of that back out. And I'm going to boost the lows. Drag the input a little bit as well. Right. Let's just wind that compressor down a little bit now. So let's bypass. I don't know if you can hear, you can really hear that boxy section that we've, you know, we've now taken that out with this low mids. Let's bring it back in. Bypass. Now, obviously we have got a bit of gain on that, so it is going to sound a little bit better because it's louder than when we bypass it, but you can still definitely hear that the sound has improved with us applying a little bit of EQ, a little bit of compression, we've rolled off a bit of the bottom end with a low cut filter. So let's actually try putting this effect section uh, pre our dynamics now. Let's see how that sounds. So that's it as we had it, where the signal path is running through this section and then through the EQ section. Now let's put it before the dynamics. You can see the compressor works a little bit harder. It's maybe only gentle, but it's still working a little bit more. So there you go, I mean that, that's a quick look at the Solid State Logic SSL E-Series channel strip. Um, it's basically just a filter section, dynamics, expander and gate, and an EQ section. I've obviously used this on a full drum group, um, however this can be used on anything, vocals, guitars, um, like I say it's got a, a noise gate in there as well so you can use it for gating things. Um, you know by all means I, I'm no fully aficionado with regards to analog gear. I know that this sounds nice and it definitely brings something to the party and I will definitely use the SSL on, on many different things, especially groups, um, just to get that sound. But you can hear that EQ works really, really well and compared to where we started off with a drum loop, which originally we thought it sounded okay, this SSL definitely makes it sound better. Are there other plugins out there that are as good and do a similar thing? Yeah, there probably is, but you know, I still really like it. I'm very pleased so far with the UAD and I am kind of sold on the idea, albeit uh, originally I wasn't really a fan. I thought there was, um, you know, just VST plugins that, that did just as good a job. However, the more I use them and I have, for instance, tested this alongside the Waves version. And to be honest, this beats the Waves one hands down. So until next time, bye bye. Check that body. Get, get, get down.